this is uh, kind of what it sounds like if we took a brick normally about the same size and did the same thing. Hold it up and let me zoom right in on the surface of it. Let's get a good shot of the surface before. Both sides? No, just hold it where you're going to hit it. That's good. Just so we see what there is there. Okay. Go ahead. Back out where you can see. Yep. All right. Dennis Mack Crook, and I have a new building material uh, that would be uh, called eboard. It's a uh, we've uh, shortened the name from environmental board down to eboard. It's a building material made from fibrous uh, organic sources like wood or straw or different fibrous vegetation added with a cementist uh, background uh, to adhere it together and then it's pressed. And the material uh, has, was invented uh, by us a couple of years back, uh, kind of by accident, but uh, also directly trying to find a new building material to make a very uh, high energy efficient uh, building envelope. Uh, e -board, uh, it's been products of other people from the past also with myself in that we're taking this material so that it can be better, easier used, uh, nailing, sawing, being able to screw it, uh, where it has the characteristics of cement and wood so that it bridges the two materials. Uh, what we found with eboard is that it's it's lighter than concrete. It uh, has many of the properties of concrete in that it's uh, fireproof or almost completely fireproof. Um, it has um, it's lighter, which I just said, uh, and it's more energy efficient. Uh, it, it also has the characteristics of wood as far as the workability uh, and its high R value uh, per, uh, per product. Uh, what we're trying to do first is to make a product uh, using an interlocking block so that it's uh, more for do-it-yourself type people or for professionals, either one, where they can do the whole structure of the, of the building material or the whole envelope of the, the the building using this material so that they're interlocking block and it'll have an interior finish and an exterior finish if so desired and also have a high R value per block. Um, this will make the, uh, the product a much better uh, usable uh, material uh, compared to the conventional housing today and will have superior characteristics. Um, one of the, the other things I would say about eboard, it would be like the first totally recyclable building in that once you build it and you don't like it after a certain period of time, you can take the same base material, grind it all up and use the same material as the basis for reforming and recasting another building in the same uh, using the same materials. I do. Pull out. And take this out of 
the other piece. Show the uh, top, show the surface that they're both nailed into. That surface? Yeah. yeah. And we didn't bring our blowtorch. That's the only other thing I got. What it's also doing, and this, this surface is a little bit harder than, than some of the others at times. It's like, especially on this surface where you can see the bigger pieces, the wood allows the, the, the chunks that are in there, allows the screw to actually grab a hold of something, you know, and gives enough so that the screw goes in. Where if it was just caught solid concrete, it wouldn't let the screw come in and grab a hold of anything at the same time. Like I mentioned earlier, the fibers inside itself are so closely um, uh, adhered to by the concrete that it keeps it solid. And the fibers just keep it from blowing out or cracking. Uh, but it lets the screw and the nails go in and out and give plenty of uh, uh, holding power too, or some pieces like uh, particle board or OSB, It'll, you'll screw it in and when you go to screw it back out and you do it again, it just takes everything that it grabs a hold of loose and then you you have to get a, something to fill it so that your screw goes back in. Where this, it just channels just exactly what it needs. It's almost like um, a bolt with the thread going in. It just makes it so that it's just perfect and it grabs a lot harder than a lot of other materials that I've come across.